Breaking news from the Middle East, where a U.S. drone strike killed one of Iran's most powerful military leaders overnight. The targeted killing of Major General Qasem Soleimani inside Iraq is a dramatic escalation in the confrontation between the U.S. and Iran. Video apparently from the aftermath shows burning wreckage near Baghdad's airport. Soleimani led the powerful Quds force of the Islamic Revolutionary Guards, blamed for killing hundreds of American troops. Iran vows a harsh response. Iran's supreme leader tweeted, quote, severe revenge awaits the criminals who carried out the strike. This drone strike signals a new U.S. military approach to Iranian threats. Yesterday, a statement by President Trump's defense Secretary Mark Esper seemed to foreshadow the attack. He said, quote, we will take preemptive action as well to protect American forces, to protect American lives. The game has changed, end quote. We have a team of correspondents in the Middle East and at home covering every major angle, including Iran's potential military response, the White House strategy, and the growing controversy in Congress. And we're going to begin with David Martin at the Pentagon for us. David, good morning. So what's at stake here? Well, this opens a dangerous new chapter in the long-running confrontation between the U.S. and Iran. The drone strike eliminated a key enemy, but it could also put Americans throughout the Middle East at greater risk. Iran state television confirmed General Qasem Soleimani's death overnight. A deputy commander of Iranian-backed militias, Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis, a close advisor to Soleimani, who was sanctioned by the U.S. for violence against Americans, was also killed. <laughs> Unverified video from the scene near Baghdad International Airport shows the wreckage of two vehicles. President Trump authorized the Thursday airstrike as part of his maximum pressure campaign, which has intensified in recent months. In a statement, the Pentagon blamed Soleimani for the deaths of hundreds of American service members, writing... He was actively developing plans to attack American diplomats and service members in Iraq and throughout the region. The U.S. blamed Soleimani for orchestrating the rocket attack on an Iraqi military base that killed an American contractor last month and for approving the attack on the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad earlier this week. Retired General David Petraeus, who commanded American forces during the war in Iraq, called Soleimani our most significant and evil adversary in the greater Middle East. As Seen as a terrorist in the U.S., Soleimani was respected in Iran and tried to reshape its influence in the region. He had the backing of Iran's supreme leader and was the head of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard's Quds Force, a U.S.-designated terrorist organization that armed and trained Iraqi Shiite militias responsible for killing U.S. troops. Enough is enough. Uh, Earlier in the day, Defense Secretary Mark Esper said Iran may be planning new attacks against the U.S. and that the game has changed. This is part of Iran's malign behavior that they've been spreading across the region from Africa all the way through the Middle East into Afghanistan now for 40 years. And it's this type of bad behavior that simply needs to end. President Trump warned earlier this week Iran would pay a price, but he did not want war. I don't think that would be a good idea for Iran. It wouldn't last very long. Do I want to? No. I want to have peace. I like peace. The U.S. military throughout the Middle East has been ordered to hunker down and be ready for Iranian retaliation. Jerika? David Martin, mm. of course, in, at the Pentagon.